Last time I showed you how to make cylindric text with Illustrator and Photoshop and today we're gonna check out how to make cylindric text only in Photoshop. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go with this text as a reference and for the font I went with Mango Grotesque Bold Italic. Let's go to the layer with the font, right click and select Convert a Smart Object. And now let's go and drag this text layer into the plus to duplicate and I'm gonna select the bottom text layer. I'm also gonna drag it down and I'm gonna press Ctrl T, right click on the text and select Flip Horizontal. So this text is basically gonna be the back side of the cylinder and it's going to be inverted. And I'm gonna select the top layer with the text and I'm gonna go and select the circle. And first I'm gonna make a circle, an ellipse like this, an oval. And I'm also gonna go to the fill, change up the color, so the width of this oval should be the same as the width of the text. And I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now I'm gonna go and select the first layer with the text, press Ctrl T. Let's go and activate the warp. And now I'm gonna go back to the custom warp and select the cylinder. Let's go and drag this little square up. I'm also gonna bring the text close to this oval. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna need to make sure that this oval line of the text is parallel with the circle oval. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit more up. So this way I can set up this as correct as possible. Now let's go and click on the check mark here. And I'm gonna go and select the second text layer and I'm gonna bring it closer to the ellipse. Press Ctrl T. Let's click on the warp icon. Now let's change the custom to cylinder. And I'm gonna repeat the same process, bring it up and make it look as parallel as possible. I'm gonna press enter and I can go and delete the ellipse. And I'm gonna go with the bottom text layer and bring it up, press and hold shift to isolate. And I'm also gonna arrange it as best as possible. So it should go somewhere like there. Now we're gonna need to position the bottom text layer behind the model. So I'm gonna go and select the layer with the model, press control J to duplicate, or you can go and drag it to the plus and make sure to select the copy of the model layer and click on remove background. There you go. I'm gonna go and select the second text layer, which is basically inverted, and I'm gonna drag it under the model layer, and I'm gonna press and hold control and also press the upper text layer. And let's go down here and we're gonna link it. So now you don't need to select both layers to rearrange the text. So I'm gonna deselect, select the first layer, for example, and now if I rearrange it, you can see both layers are gonna move. I'm also gonna add the glow effect, so I'm gonna select the top text layer, double click on it, and let's go and activate the outer glow. And here I'm gonna change up the color to cyan. Well, let's go to the blend mode and I'm gonna select a linear light. Opacity is gonna be around 50, size 150 is good. And I'm also gonna copy paste the hex code from the blue color, so this is it. I'm gonna press Ctrl C and let's go activate the drop shadow. I'm gonna change up the color to the cyan. I'm gonna copy paste the hex code, click OK. And let's go and change up the blend mode. Let's select a lighten. And I'm gonna go and decrease the distance all the way down. I'm gonna decrease the size a little bit more, 40-ish. And I'm also gonna decrease the opacity quite a bit. Click OK. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt. Let's go to the layer with the effects. And I'm gonna go to this little effect icon and drag it on the second text layer as well. So this is going to duplicate and copy paste the effect. So this is how I make this glowing cylinder text only in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.